Alrighty, well, Photokina is only a few weeks away, and we've already been told by the uh, rumors folks that Sony is not going to introduce anything at Photokina. I know they have a new model. They might introduce it sometime in October, but uh, even the Sony folks say there's nothing special about the new Sony camera. So, we have the announcement of the EOS R. Okay, has no IBIS. Okay. Only has one card slot. It has an anti-aliasing filter. Five frames per second. It's actually got listed 2.2 frames per second. And a dual pixel mode. 2.2 frames per second. Great. Three-year-old sensor. Doesn't have a joystick. Wonderful. Once again, Canon releases every three years a three-year-old camera. Wonderful. 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 Big fan of Nikon. Love Nikon a lot. I've had hands-on with the Z7. So it's got poor autofocus. It's incredibly expensive. Only someone that's had a lobotomy or a stroke would buy it as opposed to Nikon D850. It only has one card slot, which means no professional in their right mind would ever use it for a wedding or event photography. It's actually technically both uh, cameras are actually the exact same body. Different sensor, but uh, both cameras are D5000-ish level cameras, except they're mirrorless. Wonderful! Wonderful! Now, I already know a lot of the details on the Nikon, excuse me, the Fujifilm X-T3. Know a lot of the details. So, we know that they're going to announce it here on the 5th, which is my birthday. Two card slots on the X-T3. We also know that it's going to be considerably cheaper than the X-T2 was when it came out. So it's going to be really cheap. 425 uh, autofocus points. Wonderful. BSI sensor. 30 frames per second. Shut the door. Holy shit. That's amazing. So the X-T3 is basically going to be an X-T2. And they've already released images on the X-T3. It looks mostly the same. X-T3 is going to be an X-T2 except on super steroids. Think uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger sort of pumped up, right? Okay, here we go. They're going to announce the sub-$4,000 rangefinder of 50 megapixel, medium format, GFXR, two card slots, medium format, killer. Here we go. Big check. I can't even count how many thousands of people have told me over the past few months that they're going to buy this camera. Of course, a lot of people think that, well, the lenses are expensive for medium format, but with a $20 adapter, you could use any of your current full-frame lenses, most of which have no vignetting. I've already tested that. It's the exact same lenses and same sensor and same output as the uh, Fujifilm GFX. So I ask you, who is going to win... Photokina for 2018. Sure as hell isn't Nikon. It sure as hell isn't Canon. Famously, Canon releases a three-year-old camera every three years. Nikon and Canon have... Uh, now, we have to be fair to a Nikon and Canon. These are their... Uh, well, for a Nikon anyway, it's their first foray into uh, mirrorless. And uh, they're flops. They didn't listen to professionals. So Sony's not going to uh, announce anything at Photokina at all. And even if it's 10 days later, even the hardcore Sony fanboys say there's nothing extraordinarily special whatsoever about the new uh, Sony. So looks like the winner for Photokina is going to be Fujifilm. I know for hardcore fact. Hardcore fact. Everybody and their brother is going to buy an X-T3. I had lots of people tell me they're going to buy the Rangefinder uh, GFXR, but undeniably so. There's going to be a ton of uh, XT3 sales, which is going to be supposedly on sale September 21st and announced here on the 5th of September before Photokina. So here you got the winner for Photokina 2018. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it.